Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's me again with another tutorial using bobby pins and rubber bands. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification. So let's go! the first step we want to make a back section from side to side so we're going to, to make that just random back section we make us a, a, a pattern which is the back section should be a smaller chunk than the remaining hair and then we're going to secure that with the rubber bands Once we have that section, the next thing we want to do um, is put the hanging loose hair away and we're just going to do that by rolling it over and securing it with bobby, a bobby pin. So we roll it away and put it away with the bobby pin. And then um, once you're happy with that, the next thing we're going to do is to make two side side sections. So I'm going to do a parting on each side from front to the back section. So this section runs all the way to the back, the back section that we made. And then um, just putting the remaining hair away so that I can work on this. So we're going to secure this section at the back of the like near the back section like how I'm doing it right now so with your rubber band secure that away make sure it's neat and um, it's, it's firmly held and then once you have that again I'm going to do the same on the other side so once you have these two sections again I'll put the remaining hair away and I want us to work on the loose hair so we're going to twirl it and then we're going to secure it around this bulbous look that we created using the back section and then I'm just going to secure it again with bobby pin so you roll it over then put it be tuck it behind the back section that we created and I'm going to do the same with this other side of the hair twirl it and roll it to the opposite side of the back section then secure it with a bobby pin okay now the next step we are going to try to create uh, more of these uh, two, two, two sort of sections like more of more of what we just created at the back here now so I'm going to take a little chunk of hair from the hair that I placed aside and then I'm just going to do the same with what I've done with the loose hair so I'm just going to twirl it a little bit and I'm going to secure it on the opposite side of the the back section and then I'll secure it with the bobby pin once I'm happy with how puffy it looks for well, this here, I'm just using my, you know, instincts to try to understand if it looks perfect or not. But of course, you can always use a mirror. I really don't like using two mirrors because I get confused. And then again, I'm going to take another section. And then just similarly, I'm going to put it on the opposite section of the, uh, the opposite side of the back section. And I'm going to repeat these uh, for another chunk of hair. So, yep. So you'll notice I'm trying to loosen it a little bit so that like it just makes some volume that I'm happy with that I can feel is okay. So this is the next chunk of hair and I'm just taking a little piece from each side this is not necessarily measured or anything it's just random so you just take it put it on the opposite side of the back hair bobby pin it to secure it and that's just it 
and every time I'm taking care of this back section because like I really wanted to maintain that barbas look but then um, when you're doing this bobby pinning and like loading it with hair it can mess with it easily so every time I do it I try to make sure that I still can feel that um, you know that um, whatever we created so once I have this so this is how the back section would look like then I'll go work on the front section so in the front section it's very easy we're just going to have three sections and then we're going to twirl it around and then again we're going to bobby pin it at the back so this first section I'm just going to twirl it like that and then once I have all the hair together I'm going to bobby pin it at the back so because my hair was not long enough to get to the back section that we created I'm just going to bobby pin it wherever it will be hidden so that it doesn't it doesn't look awkward at all so I'm putting it there I think it's under the, si the side where I secured the side section then just going back in to make sure that the trial is even then to the next section I'm going to do the same twirl it and bobby pin it at the back And I'm making sure that the extra hair that is like coming beyond the bobby pin, I'm also tucking it in so that it's not visible above yeah, that, um, that section that um, looks a little bit like vol the volume that I created. So this is the last chunk of hair. We do the same thing. And once we are done with this, we would have already achieved our look. It's very easy, very simple. It's just that most of its action is at the back of the head where you cannot see. So it really, really requires a lot of like instincts to be able to come up with this. And also trusting yourself and your hands. Not unless you want to work with two mirrors, which is okay. But for me, that was just a lot. So I just had to go with my instincts and, you know just work on it blindly so this is the final look guys um, so uh, this is how the top of the head looks like this is the side view and this is the back view I really love this hairstyle I don't know about you guys let me know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe see you later